I'm Rick Johansson, and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. Today, we're gonna to do a beginner's Inkscape tutorial, specifically on one of my favorite features in Inkscape, the Trace Bitmap Tool. And this is a way you can take a JPEG or a PNG file and convert it into a vector format. So this is a couple examples I've done in the past. Here's a sailboat, and you can extract the boat and then I added this like oval thing <laughs> after the fact. Uh, but here's another, here's a great example of a locust that you can extract this vector file and then you can then scale this. It won't pixelate, you can use it in your projects. It's just a good tool to have in your arsenal. And I, I wanna walk you through the steps on how to use it for the first time and how to modify it so you can get the outcome you want. And today we will use this tiger as our example. So let's go get the image. I got it from this website, Pexels. If you've never used it, it's royalty free. You can use this stuff on your projects, open source files. I chose this one. You can choose any one you want, but I chose one with the neutral background. This black one would work too, but for the simplest exercise, a nice neutral white background with this tiger will work. So I downloaded it already. And here we are back in Inkscape. So you can use the downloaded image just as is, but because I have a screen recorder going, I actually resized it to under 10 megabytes. So just keep that as a frame of reference. Some computers, if they have great processing power, no problem. But mine, it seems to be, I gotta be under 10 megabytes to make it work correctly. So here we go. This is the tool. Select your image. Go to Path, Trace Bitmap. Let me get it so you can see it. That's something I was working on. All right, so we'll start with, let's walk you through it. So trace bitmap, single scan or multiple scans. We'll get to multiple scans at the end. That has like the highlight of the whole thing. But for single scan, brightness cutoff, the simplest way to explain it is, it's going to look at this image and create its vector based on the brightness levels of the image itself. So we don't need this B anymore. I'll start with the 0.43. I think the preset's like 0.45. So I have it on Speckles, Smooth Corner, Optimize. This is all the defaults. If it's not your default, have um, Speckles 2, Smooth Corners 1, Optimize 0 0.20. When you do Update, it'll give you a preview, and then you push OK. And then it'll think for a moment, <laughs> and there it is. Okay, let's pull this out, and that's pretty good. Pretty good for a first try. And what this is is you got your vector file now, but it's got too much darkness around the nose. Let's put this over on the 0.43 setting and we'll try again. So as you can see, you'll play with it until you get the settings where you want it and then you can use the image. So we'll go back to single scan and I'll go to, we'll try 0.35 on this one. And then I'll do update just to get a preview. I like that, okay. And that looks like it cleaned up the nose it did. Okay, I would probably run with this one, but I wanna show you the full exercise. So let's try it again. Click on the image and we'll change it for brightness threshold to 0.25. I have two decimal points. 0.25 and then update that and let's see how this looks. And that's gonna be, this might be actually useful. All right, so let's just compare them. So 0.25, you have more contrast here. It gets a little, that's actually 0.35 is probably too dark. What I would do if I was doing this and using this for a project, I would take some of this and then some of this one and then composite them. But for this tutorial, let's just stick with the trace bitmap. All right, the next feature, we'll go down here. There's, a, if you're on your single scan, you can have edge detection. So this won't work too well with our tiger, but I wanna show you how it works. So click on your image. This is the same image, I just du um, duplicated it so we can go fast. And then I'll go to brightness cutoff, edge detection then 0.65 might be intense, which we'll is go 0.50 right in the center, update, and it's gonna get real busy. You'll see what I mean. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's pull out the edge detection. All right, so that's pretty interesting. So I would use this function more for like a still life or a car or some type of object because the algorithm is trying to find the detecting the edges and they're just too much, it's too busy. So it's a good feature for something else, but let's move on to the next single scan feature, which is auto trace, which is very quick. Now, the settings I have here, 2.0 for the error threshold, but I wanna change it to five for the filter iterations. And if you update that, it shows in color, it's just gonna stamp out like a real quick trace, which will be okay. Let's see what we have here. So we pull this out and that looks pretty good. That took about like four seconds. And I like this, I do, I have used this in the past. If you saw the earlier tutorial, we used auto trace for the lifeguard tower. 
And in the case of the Tiger, I probably would still composite something from the brightness cutoff. But if it's like a building or again, a car or something, you can use auto trace pretty effectively. And that brings us to the main event, the multiple scans, color scans. So click on your image again, we'll, we'll go to multiple scans. And then under here, we'll, we'll try colors. Now you can go as many, each different scan is a different layer and it's gonna isolate a different color of the image. So in this case, I have it at eight scans, which would be a good baseline to start with. The more scans you do, the more layers, the more time it'll take, but eight will work pretty well. Some important features, you wanna click on smooth, stack, and in this case, I do wanna remove the background and you'll see what happens. So, oh, the speckles two, smooth corners 1.0, optimize 0.20, these are defaults. I don't really mess with these. Update, I might think for a second, and then okay. <laughs> Take a look at this. That's pretty awesome. So we have now a vector format from this. This was a JPEG, and look at the detail. This is only eight scans. For this tutorial, I'm, I'm gonna stop with this one but you can go um, 10, 20, I've done up to 24 scans. It just, you gotta save before you do that because it might crash. But the more scans you do, the more detail. So I, I don't know if I would accept this part here, but it does give you a really interesting way to make a vector out of a, a raster or a JPEG PNG file. So to end off this tutorial, I wanna show you one other part. This is the same thing, I just did it twice. You can then pull out, you can isolate. If you double click, you can isolate the different colors. So there's the black layer, there is a gray layer, there is the orange layer. <laughs> you just go, you can, it almost becomes art, you know, like, a, like a collage here of the different layers. And maybe you like one of these for your project, maybe, maybe I just ruined it. But anyway, just play with the settings, trace bitmap, it's a great feature, and have fun with it. Thanks.